Eid al-Adha, also known as Eid al-Qurban or the Festival of Sacrifice, is an important religious holiday celebrated by Muslims around the world. It commemorates the willingness of Ibrahim, Abraham, to sacrifice his son as an act of obedience to God's command. However, before Ibrahim could carry out the sacrifice, God provided a ram as a substitute. Eid al-Adha falls on the 10th day of the Islamic lunar month of Dhul Hijjah, following the completion of the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. It is considered the holiest of the two major Islamic holidays, with the other being Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of Ramadan. During Eid al-Adha, Muslims gather for special prayers at mosques and open spaces. They dress in their finest attire and listen to a sermon delivered by an imam. After the prayer, Muslims offer animal sacrifices, typically sheep, goats, cows, or camels. The meat from the sacrificed animal is divided into three parts, one part for the family, one part for relatives and friends, and one part for the less fortunate or needy. Eid al-Adha is a time for Muslims to strengthen their faith, practice selflessness, and show solidarity with the less fortunate. It is also a time for family gatherings, feasting on special meals, exchanging gifts, and giving to charity. The holiday usually lasts for several days, during which people visit each other, share meals, and engage in festive activities. It's important to note that specific cultural practices and traditions may vary among different Muslim communities, but the core significance of Eid al-Adha remains the same. While Eid al-Adha is primarily a Muslim holiday, Christians can show respect and participate in certain ways to promote interfaith understanding and goodwill. Here are some ways Christians can engage, educate yourself, take the opportunity to learn about the significance of Eid al-Adha, its historical context, and its spiritual importance to Muslims. This will help you appreciate and understand the holiday better. Extend greetings. Offer Eid greetings to your Muslim friends, colleagues, or neighbors. A simple Eid Mubarak, meaning Blessed Eid, or Happy Eid, can go a long way in fostering goodwill and building bridges between communities. Attend community events. Many Muslim communities organize open houses, cultural fairs, or public events during Eid al-Adha. Consider attending these events, where you can witness the festivities, sample traditional food, and engage in conversations with Muslims. Volunteer and engage in acts of service. Use the occasion of Eid al-Adha to engage in acts of charity and service. Just as Muslims distribute meat to the less fortunate, Christians can participate in charitable activities, such as volunteering at food banks, donating to organizations that help the needy, or engaging in interfaith service projects. Express solidarity. Reach out to Muslim friends or community leaders and express your solidarity during this special time. You can send a card, extend an invitation for a meal or gathering, or simply have a conversation to show your support and care. Foster interfaith dialogue. Initiate conversations with Muslims about their faith, traditions, and experiences during Eid al-Adha. Engaging in respectful dialogue and mutual understanding can help build bridges and promote interfaith harmony. Pray for peace and unity. Offer prayers for peace, unity, and understanding among different faith communities, including Muslims celebrating Eid al-Adha. Praying for the well-being and harmony of all people is a universal act that transcends religious boundaries. It's important to approach these activities with respect and sensitivity, recognizing that Eid al-Adha holds deep religious significance for Muslims. Building relationships and fostering understanding between Christians and Muslims can promote a sense of community and contribute to a more inclusive society.